Well, despite life's cha uh, challenges every now and then, you come across a blessing. That's right. We came across a story in the neighborhood of Clark, where one small business went out of their way to help another keep their doors open. News 12 in Jersey's Kimberly Kravitz is live in our studio tonight with this story. Kimberly? Kurt Roxanne, this was a true example of love thy neighbor. The owner of Erica's Cucina in Clark tells me that her cafe would have crumbled if not for the help of her neighboring business. You can uh, stay on your feet. Okay. Erica Gett, who owned this small business in town, was almost forced to shut her doors after 13 years, succumbing to the tough times of COVID-19 as well as her health. I feel very blessed that I'm still here. Erica suffered complications from a car accident during COVID, a time where she was already put in jeopardy with her business. It wasn't until the owner of Good Tidings Plumbing, Heating and Cooling, whose motto is your comfort is our calling, stepped in to save her local cafe from shutting down. When I heard that um, her plan was just to close her restaurant and walk away, um, I thought for sure I needed to help. Fortunately for them, being an HVAC and plumbing company, they were on the uphill swing post-COVID. But Erica, on the other hand, was barely able to make ends meet. I have to, again, put my business in the back burner. and They have to do an emergency surgery. So therefore, not only did we go in through COVID, but we were, I was going through um, my rehabilitation after the surgery since I couldn't feel my right side from the waist down. Each sandwich that she so sold was keeping her doors open. God is good. That is He's good. He's raising you up. David and Erica, who had only met over the past year, didn't have much in common other than a deep-rooted connection to their religion. So we prayed, and then he prayed for my business. And that's how he found out that my business wasn't doing that well. David and his family decided not only to offer a gift that would completely revamp the cafe's technology and business model, but they went a step further and rebranded the company entirely to Kitchen Delights Clark. We've been working harder on her business for the last four months than we have our own. I am very grateful, and I am beyond words to thank everybody who has supported me all these years. The Kitchen Delights Clark website has a section on their About Me section on their website, and that shares more of their personal story. They also have a GoFundMe page as well. Kimberly Kravitz, News 12, New Jersey. That's such a beautiful story.